Okay, my outstanding friends, this is unbelievable news. Dr. Niall Jeffrey is talking about dark matter. There's a whole new, we found everything. Well, they didn't find everything. They're just starting to say, yes, dark matter is what Roger said it is. <laughs> hint at. It means that Einstein's theory is wrong. So you might think that that's a bad thing, that maybe, oh no, physics is broken. But for physicists, it's extremely exciting because it means that we can find out something new about the way the universe really is. Building on the work of Einstein, Carlos Frank was among a group of scientists that developed the current model of cosmology. Hearing now that there may be something not quite right with the theory, well, it's very disconcerting, it's very alarming, and in a way, frightening to see that maybe my whole life's work might crumble in front of me, but at the same time, it is immensely exciting. A strong Okay, they they realize they've been wrong about everything now, and I show electron flood theory is virtually supported in every single way. Now, I've got a ton of videos on this, so I'm just going to make a quick final presentation of the bits and pieces, then you can go and look at my theory, and I can. it's very, very well laid out, I believe. If it's not, tell me why I was wrong. Now, we're looking for a muon. It comes from a muon neutrino. It does not change. We're looking for electron showers. It comes from an electron neutrino, which is a white ball, changes into a shower. Okay, I say this is the electron neutrino, which is the explosive showering part. This is the muon neutrino, which is the non-showering, doesn't change, and stays a muon. Two of these back-to-back -back is creates a photon. One of them literally is an electron. That's what creates electricity, static, lightning, all of that stuff. But when you have two of them together, they bounce because they're pretty much stable. When there's only one of them, totally unstable, that's elect electricity. That is, that's the invader. This one here is the bouncer. So what we did was we took that red pulsed laser light and we put it from this wave, which is the particle that I just showed you is way back here. The magnetic field is out here, so you have a wave particle. That's why. The wave pushes every other particle away because they also have their own field. So it's push to shove. Now, when we approach the Venturi, different situation. It's push and it's being sucked through the Venturi. When it hits the Venturi, it literally separates its charges. So we can see light accelerating. Einstein was wrong about that. Light goes, it speeds up, slows down. It has no set speed. And we can see this again here in the blue. You see that? You see how far apart that is? You see how close that is? It's obviously slowing down or speeding up one or the other. Now, what about this separation of the charges of the black and the white? Well, here they are right here. When we get through that Venturi, we literally created the muons separated from the electron showers. Now, it, what I showed you was back here, the black and white particles were together in a box like this. When they hit the Venturi, all bets are off. Everybody gets out of the way of the black ones. The white ones take over and shower. Exactly what CERN says. Muon neutrinos, electron neutrinos, then we say the muon neutrinos do not change. Electron neutrinos turn into electron showers. This is where you have the tau, and here, right here, you have the W and Z bosons, 200 times more energy than here. That means we can harvest this as free energy simply by putting a solar collector plate there. Now, this is on my channel, Mud Fossil University. This was because I discovered mud fossils, a whole different situation. Also rejected, even though I have DNA and CAT scans and anatomists and chemistry. So, this is why I've been pushed out of the scientific realm, and I only get, look, 437 hits. Free energy. Fixed for climate change, 662 hits. You, you put up a kitten, you get a million hits. It's very, very distressing that academia has crushed the reality of our situation for their own personal interests. And now at least this one guy stood up and says, I think I was wrong my whole career. Well, God bless you, my friend, because you are an honest person. Extremely rare nowadays.